Now let's talk about playing behind that defensive line. Uh, Perkins and Ivy and Nolan and all those guys. Uh, I think that's uh, I, I, like I said uh, every week. I mean, it's awesome, man. Um, I seen a quote from Princely like about him saying like we don't have any backups on the D line, and, and that's true, man. Once one guy goes out for a blow, the next guy goes in. He could be a starter too. So it's just amazing to keep seeing every guy that come in be able to be efficient and really play it stand out. For for either of y'all, just what have y'all sensed this defense these last three games? It feels like y'all are kind of turn it up a notch each week. Do y'all sense the, the level of play on y'all side of the ball a little bit higher? Uh, I just feel like we, we're not that to our standard. Like, I, like I've been saying in uh, previous interviews, Coach Golden lays out the standards for each and every week, and we just go out there and we dominate. That's what I feel like we did tonight. I feel like we played Ole Miss defense football. Talk about you guys' relationship together. How, how well do y'all play beside each other on this defense? Um, I think I think we go well together. Uh, I said a lot, man. I think Pooh makes me better, and uh, I just love playing with him. The communication and then the tenacity he brings, man. I had no choice but to match it. For both of you, uh, early on, Jackson goes down. They get a touchdown. Uh, how big was it for Austin to come in and lead that drive when you guys didn't know at that moment what Jackson's situation was to get back into the game at that point? Uh, I was very, I'm very proud. I told him after the game, I was very proud of him, man. You, if you see the way that he works each and every day throughout the week, man, it's, it's awesome. He's on top of the, uh, he's on top of film study with Dart. You can see him out there throwing passes together to receivers, just building that chemistry with the offense in total, man. So it was awesome to, for him to get an opportunity to go out there and showcase what he's been working on, man. I'm so proud of him. How do y'all feed off the energy of the fan base itself being as loud as it was today and also, um, just the offense as a whole doing what it did and um, taking advantage of the situations that y'all put them in. Man, we put in we put in a lot of work this offseason just for you know to showcase to the fans what we uh, what we've been working on, man. So to see them out there with uh, their support behind us and just you know just raising chaos out there, man, it was nice. It was, it really brought energy to us. So as a defense and offense as well, you know, once they got on their feet, man, the drilling started to rush and just trying to go out there and make them big time plays, man. So we we can't thank the uh, the support enough, man. We we yeah, that's it. We just man, we can't support. We can't thank them enough. It's very rare for y'all not to be on the same page uh, defensively on the field. How tight knit is the linebacking unit, and how well do y'all communicate with one another, even off the field? Um, I think I think it's very well. And um, as as, I, as he came here, I think it started from day one. We just kept continuing to build our relationship on and off the field, and I think our relationship off the field is what makes us even better on the field. Just being able to talk about anything, man. So when I come to him, I can ask him questions. He can ask me questions, and I think that just makes us play better. Who, I mean, Lane has talked about how last year's game against Georgia really sort of <clears throat> spurred the, the, this roster development. You were obviously part of that. They brought you in for games like this. What, is, what does this one mean to you? Uh, it mean a lot to me, especially with him having that much faith in me, uh, with me being a new transfer and things like that. TJ, guys like TJ, uh, JJ, uh, Jared Ivy, just guys like that taking me up under their wings, man, and just welcoming me with open arms, man. It means a lot. Like like TJ said, you know, we have that bond where we can just talk each and every day about or not about football. You know, it's all we talk about life things as well, man. So I feel like with us creating that bond, man, it just it just put us in places to where we can make those big plays, especially with us transfers that all came in with me. So, man, I'm excited to keep going to war with these guys, man. I can't thank them enough. Hey guys, congrats on the man up on the left here. Um, so just a question for each of you, you know, as those defensive plays kind of add up, because it looked like there were a lot of them and Coach Kiffin mentioned that, you know, in the game without, he called it mushy offense, you know, the defense just comes up huge against the Georgia team. H how much does getting a sack, getting those tackles for loss just add up, getting those turnovers uh, continue to give you guys more and more momentum as you prove yourselves in the moment against you know, the number three ranks team in the country? Um, I think that's huge, man. Um, the coaches harp on it a lot about turnovers, man. And even with them, their last games or their losses, they were negative in the turnover margin. So they harped on that a lot about just being able to get takeaways. And as far as sacks and TFLs, man, I think everybody comes out and just we got a mentality. Everybody do their job and everybody plays going to come. So that's how everybody eat. Uh, right here. So, like it's been said before, you guys just continue to get better and better each game. How do you, hey, <laughs> how do you um, just, how do you guys just maintain that? And also, like I said, get better with the few games left in the season. How do you just maintain that high intensity um, and play Rebels defense? 
I think I think that's our standard. So uh, just each and every, each and every week, man. No matter who we play, man, a nameless faces opponent, man. Just getting back in the film room on Sunday and Monday, man, and just getting back to work, man, and never living too high in the moment. Of course, we're gonna enjoy it, but tomorrow, man, it's gonna be another week, another opportunity. So just get back to work. Uh, Coach Kiffin and Jackson both mentioned uh, like a backs against the wall kind of mentality heading into the game. Did you do you guys feel like that made you prepare even more for this game? Even though, you know, even though mentioned Georgia's, he's mentioned, Coach Gibbons mentioned Georgia's one of the better teams in the country the past couple of years. Do you guys feel like that made the preparation even more intense at practice all week? Uh, I believe that's just the way that we uh, prepare for teams. Like like he said, no name opponents, man. We just go out there. We play Ole Miss standard of football. So I feel like, uh, yes, the intensity was a little bit higher today just because – I'm saying this week just because of the team. You know, Georgia's a great team. They got a great offense. They, you know, they ran the ball pretty hard tonight, as well as they have a defense out there that runs around the field. So, you know, just keying in on the small details and just harping on the uh, – just harping on communication and things like that really set us apart tonight. Piggybacking on that. You just mentioned that Georgia's been a really good defense. They've been one of, if not the best, in college football over the past few years. It looked like tonight that you guys were the better defense on the field. Kind of talk about you know, what this game meant to you guys as a defense. I mean, I think it meant a lot, man. And speaking for myself and a lot of the guys that's on the team, man, I, I think this is these are the games that we came here for, honestly. And, uh, just being able to show up in these moments is huge, man. And it's just another opportunity, and we just take advantage of every opportunity. I feel like the crowd may have hit its loudest peak over the course of those turnovers, right? And then y'all were very hyped as well. You talk about how much that helped you, and then who? Second question for you. Can you explain your shirt? And I see the poo chain, but can you explain your shirt as well? Yeah, I will. Pick up. You got it. So, uh, you know, with, like I said, with that crowd behind us, man, it's just bringing that adrenaline rush that's unmatched, man. With just seeing those guys out there just really supporting us, even throughout the rain, man, they, they pulled up and made a new attendance record. So that really just tells you how much support that we really have behind us. And, man, we're very thankful as a team. I speak for everybody when I say that, and I really mean that from the bottom of my heart, man. We really, you know, really – Thank y'all for y'all support and everything that y'all do. And we try to thank y'all by the way we play on Saturdays, man. So, and um, also my shirt, it says, uh, stand by to get some, juice boy. So we got this thing with the front seven, that's D-line and linebackers. We, we set the tone no matter what the play is. So, you know, we had a, a speaker that came in here and he he said this was something that the military used when they was finna get ready to go to war. You know, they'll sit, uh, sit back and wait for the doors to open and he'll come on like the intercom, rare calm and say, stand by to get some. And I just felt like that was just so hard to me. So, so man, so I, I wear this shirt with pride, man. I apply it every Saturday. We go out there. The guys, they wear it, too, and they do the same as well, man. It's, it's a sign. Are you going to get a piece of the field goal post? Say it one more time, Are sorry. Are you going to get a piece? Are both of y'all going to get a piece of the field, field goal, goal post? post? They took both of them now. For real? Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> when we find it, we, when we find it, I tell myself, I'm going to go take a picture with it. So, if I see it, I'm going to take a picture with it. <laughs> yeah, they not the field goal. Now. I ain't even know that. Me either. And to piggyback on that question, where were you guys uh, when, when the field storm happened? And I know the, the first one kind of happened after the fourth down, and so they kind of had a, uh, an early field storm, so to speak. But where were you guys? What was your perspective on those? Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I remember I was talking to TJ, and we was going to get a picture in the middle of the field. I, I turned around, and I got grabbed by, like, five people, and then they pulled me to the sideline, and everybody just started surrounding me. So I really don't know where I was to be exact. But I knew I was out there celebrating with the fan, which I wanted to do. So, yeah, guys, for for both of you, if you don't mind, the the sacks have have been there really the whole season. But but today the strip sacks were were there. I guess was there an increased uh, increased emphasis on that, and, and and what contributed to to getting? I think it was three off the top of my head, maybe more. Um. The one I tell you, the coach do harp on that like every week, but man, I think I think man with the external factors of like the rain and things like that, I think that just gives you an even more advantage to take advantage of those opportunities. And when you get a chance, man, really try to get the ball back to our offense as quick as possible rather than playing another down. So, just man, just trying to get after that ball, man. That's the that's the real fun part. Questions? Okay. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Have you ever been a win, part of a win like that? And what was it, kind of the celebration like for you? 
Um, have I ever been a part of a win like that? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think, yeah, man, that it was just great. Like, that's why I came here to 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 play big time football, to play in big time games and and win games like this. And the feeling is just unreal. Two sacks for you tonight. What was kind of working for you, and I guess the defensive front as a whole? Man, we just go to work every day. That's all it is. And I just, you feel me? Just come out there and play my game. Don't play their game. Play my game. To have the ability to get to the quarterback like that in a game like this, I mean, you guys were living in the backfield. How important is that, especially when, you know, the quarterback on your side of the field was banged up? It was really important. Even coming into the week, I was telling some of our guys, like, watching their film, it doesn't seem like Georgia gives up that many sacks at all. So I told them, like, it's going to be on us to set the tone for the defense and really the team. So, yeah. What have you seen the L that defensive line room? It felt like y'all have just turned it up another gear these past three games. I mean, what, what have y'all sensed as a room that y'all, like any play that y'all can get back to that uh, backfield? It's just, to be honest, like after that LSU game, even after the Kentucky game, you know, we just, like Coach Joyner preaches it all the time, like we feel like it's on us to set the tone of the defense. You know, if, if, if the quarterback can't throw the ball and they can't run the ball, then they can't win the game. So, yeah. How did y'all uh, bounce back as a defense after that first drive where y'all have to go on the field real quick um, and give up a touchdown? So how did y'all bounce back after that and allow only three more points the rest of the game? I mean, we knew we were uh, we knew that we were put in a in a bad position and we really almost stopped them. They got lucky on that uh, on the fourth down and we like I said before, we love those type of moments. So after that. After after we stopped them the first time, I told I told some of our guys I was like they're not gonna score again. We like this game don't even need to be close. Like we don't, I don't think they're on our level. Talk about the environment. It was a very special one, even throughout all the rain and all the weather and stuff. Uh, it seemed like you guys as a defense really fed on that, getting some huge third down stops, even that fourth down stop in the fourth quarter. Uh, just what did that environment mean to you just with crappy weather and everything like that, top three team coming in? Man, uh, with the rain, you know we, know, we knew we had some adversity. Adversity. Luckily, it rained this week earlier in practice, so we got, we got the practice in it. But, man, that shout out to fans. That, that environment was electric, man. It was, it was amazing to, to see all of the fans come out and just show support and how loud they were. You know, I seen that we, we broke a, a, an attendance record, so shout out to fans. Defensively speaking, do you feel like the game got easier for you guys in the second half as y'all were gaining more momentum, getting forcing turnovers? Do you feel like the game got easier for you guys throughout the second half? To be honest, I think we just – I like how you put it, you know what I'm saying? It got easier, but I think we just – like we knew that Georgia is a team that has been down – more than we were just up. they've been down more than we were up on them today and we know that they're a team that has come back from great adversities they came back from uh losing losing games in a big margin and things like that so we just knew as a defense and as a team that we had to keep our our foot on their necks and not give them any room to breathe and we did that this may be an obvious question to answer but how does it big is it to have in the bye week where it is now before these final two games Man, it's really, really big, especially after after a game uh, like the Georgia game. You know, we got a couple of guys beat up, so it's good to have a bye week. Hopefully, we can uh, bring Trey Harris back and get a lot of other guys back healthy. After this bye week, obviously, it's kind of a homecoming for you going to Gainesville. Just how much has that game has been on your mind, and how, like how much are you looking forward to going back there? It ain't been on my mind too much because I've been, you know, focusing on the other games, but. Coming up to this week is gonna gonna be on, on my on my mind a lot. I, I look uh, forward a lot to uh, going back to Gainesville and yeah. <laughs> Appreciate you guys.